Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and this video is a bit of a strange one. It's uh, basically proving why gas engineers need to use their non-contact voltage indicators. Because my son's on a job at the moment and uh, he's just found out when he's used his non-contact voltage indicator that the full plumbing system has got voltage going through it. So I'm just on my way to the job in G Cross, which is near where I live, to find out what the heck's going on. So, as usual on these videos, let's stop waffling and let's get on with it and find out what the heck is going on with this plumbing system. So we're on site, let's... Uh, Try our little socket and see and see if that pulls up any faults on the ring main itself. Oops. Straight away, it's telling us we have an earth fault. So it's not even gonna do an earth leap impedance test or trip the RCD. Or it isn't tripping the RCD. So there's the first thing we found. There is an earth fault. So this is the readings we should have got from this test equipment. So if I plug it in and I turn it on. So you can see it checked whether we had our um, polarity and it's also checked our earth loop impedance test. So that's the readings we should have got. Turn that off because it's annoying. So let's just try the old non-contact voltage indicator. So let's try it on the live, which we've got. Let's try it on the neutral. Ooh. <laughs> well, let's try it in the earth. Oh my word. So we've got something seriously going wrong here. We've got live going down the earth somewhere. So just to show you what readings we should have got with this plug socket is this is the same non-contact voltage indicator we've just used on site. So if we go into the live, you can see it's showing up red and orange and beeping. If we go into the neutral, gives you this slow beep to tell you there's something there. And if we go into the earth, doesn't actually give us any reading. So that's what we should have got from this non-contact voltage indicator, not what you've just seen. So let's see if we can find out if we've got what voltage we've got going down here. So if I use this to open the gate on the earth, we should be able to get in. I don't know whether you can see that. We've got 50 volts between earth and neutral where we should have nothing make it work again we're getting all kinds of readings <laughs> let's get a multimeter and check that now this is what we should have got using this test equipment again on this correct socket so if I lift the gate again on this one into that one you can see we've got continuity with the neutral and if we go into the live you can see we've got 230 volts on the line so that's what we should have got using this test equipment okay we've kind of narrowed it down to all the earths alive <laughs> so let's see what voltage we've got going through i'm just going to stick the neutral onto this copper pipe and go on to there and you can see we've got 57 volts ac going down the earth so the earths went everywhere in this flat they went to all the taps they went to every pipe we've had to cut them all out so we can keep the power on otherwise tom was getting electrocuted so that is a good example of why gas engineers require the non-contact voltage indicator because it picked it up for him straight away and he knew there was a fault straight away 
without getting electrocuted because if there was 230 volts going through here, my son would not be here now. So let that be a warning to you guys. Make sure you use your non-contact voltage indicator and you've got all the test equipment to be able to test for these faults. I know it's only got 60 volts going through it, but it still gives you a bit of a belt. Now then, that was a strange one, wasn't it? Voltage going down the earth wire and the um, consumer unit was protected by MCBs and RCDs. And I don't know why he didn't trip. So if you are an electrician, put down in the comments below why you think the MCBs and the RCDs didn't trip with voltage going down the earth wire. Is it just because it was 60 volts? Also, some of you guys will be going, well, it's only 60 volts, that's not going to kill you. Remember, it's not the volts what kills you, it's the amps. And you don't have amps without volts, or volts without amps. <laughs> Anyway, Tom's also been, uh, while we've been training this using the non-contact voltage indicator, he's been like, Dad, why are we bothering? It's not needed. I think Tom has now changed his mind about that little non-contact voltage indicator <laughs> because he panicked a little bit when he stuck it on the pipework and found it was all live. So, <laughs> hopefully, this little video now will try and prove to some of you guys who think, like Tom, it's not needed. Because if there was a higher voltage going through there, somebody probably would have been killed. Or am I over-exaggerating it? Anyway. So there is an electrician en route to the job now to see what he can find and why this earth has got voltage on it i'm guessing it's catching of it's getting the voltage from a socket from somewhere but uh, not a good start to somebody moving into a new flat is it so if you've liked this little video why don't you give me that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below if you're not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos. I think you know by now it's Mondays and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and stay safe, guys, making sure you use that non contact voltage indicator before you start work. Anyway, catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.